Welcome back to CSR. My name is Sarah Sagitan, and we're still talking about art education right here on CSR. We have as a very special guest uh, who came into the studio, Ms. Sheena Ira Tan. Welcome to the show, Ira. Thank you. And also our guest earlier, Janine Michelle Cabata. Welcome back to the show, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ira, you you work with Start with the Heart. Uh, you founded this program, and it's it's a creativity laboratory for kids. So, yeah. what exactly does Start with the Heart mean, and what does what do you do with uh, Start with the Heart Lab? Um, I came up with it actually like. Just um, parang when you wake up one morning and you want to build something, mm -hmm. and then um, for me, kasi art is really exactly what it is. Start with the heart. Parang I don't um, I don't see art as starting with techniques or starting with um, instructions, ganyan, But really, um, your heart, your emotions. It's a, uh, mm -hmm. um, people say art is uh, your self-expression. Self so it's really it really has to start from the heart. That's why you named it yes. Start With The Heart. Mm. But you, you specialize in teaching younger children, whereas Ja teaches uh, high school students. So how, yeah. how old are your students? Um, they range from ages 2 to 6, so preschool age Preschool kids. age. So isn't it hard to teach 2-year-olds, for example, 3-year-olds? I mean, they, they, I don't know, are they disciplined? <laughs> or they, are they also have to teach them how to write, etc.? Or how do you teach 2-year-olds? Um, a lot of people say that it's hard, but it depends really siguro on your passion. Because me, I really love working with them. Um, at the end of the day, Small it's all... Small ones? Yeah, really love kasi siguro parang I, I have lots of patience and um, it's an enjoyable thing for me, an enjoyable activity. So I don't teach art to them like, um, like as a separate subject because when they're in preschool, everything is integrated. Mm -hmm. So they're not divided. And then... Um, I don't find it hard because actually the little kids, um, as compared to older um, kids or adults, they don't have a lot of um, inhibitions. Yes, but they they're not scared to try, mm -hmm. and they then don't they just yeah. So they just if you give them something, they'll work with it however they want. Mm -hmm. But can you all, can uh, talent already be detected at that? young age, for example, to your, do you, do you, how about you with your students? Are there exceptionally good students or, uh, or are they just, you know, playing around during, for example, your It depends because I, um, sometimes I compare them with how I developed as an artist. Like when I was in um, junior prep, I couldn't draw a window like that. So sometimes I. But you I like drawing ever there. since that young age. Yes. yes. Okay. So sometimes I've seen um, my kids just four or five years old, and they could draw a person in detail already. So oh, I'm I'm guessing that their eyes are really very um, mm -hmm. practiced, where they really observe, and then sometimes when I just show them a picture, and then um, for a few seconds, and after that they could um, draw the picture. And so um, it also depends on how good they observe. Um, mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. How about you, Ja? Uh, you're also an artist. When you were growing up, can you also, I mean, at a young age, do you already know that you love to draw, that you love to art, or? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> no? <laughs> no? 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 <laughs> My mom used to do everything for me. <laughs> the drawing. Yeah. And the the drawing, and then, um, then, because I was so good, mm -hmm. I was forced to join an art competition. Okay. Which scared the hell out of me. Because it was your mom doing yes. the artwork. Yes, yeah, <laughs> high school. Mm -hmm. By high school by then. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. so I had to learn overnight. How to draw. How to draw. This is what you do and all those things. So the following day, during the inter-school competition, I had to draw Anton Van Leeuwenhoek. He was the, he was <laughs> the scientist <laughs> who invented the microscope. I remember him because his hair was like this. Mm -hmm. Very Good hard, hair. right? Because his hair was, <laughs> was really hazy. And it was so wild. Is that yeah. hard to draw? I mean, for the competition. I won second place. So <laughs> I was like, after, after that, I was like, oh no, I know how to draw. Confidence. <laughs> the confidence level yeah. went up. <laughs> Actually, that's also my experience. Uh, not necessarily with art classes when I was growing up. The ones that involved sewing. I would make mm, my mom crafts. do my projects. Mm. Yeah, crafts. <laughs> I'd make my mom do the projects and submit it as my yeah. project and get a high grade. But uh, I, what do you think of, how, do you differ, how does that differ? Arts, teaching arts and then also teaching crafts. Uh, did you teach crafts, for example, or just? Um, yes, because there's some um, skills that you learn when you do crafts. But um, I'm more of um, 
not really the craft side because crafts is more of following directions where yes. there's a set of directions to be able to do for example a paper mache mm -hmm. pot mm -hmm. so um the kids follow the directions and then maybe when there's a pot at the end and then siguro the their own creativity or originality comes out like in Decorate creating the pot. the pot there's some skill involved also mm -hmm. but crafts, with so but with drawing do you just teach pure drawing and uh, what you call um, that, coloring painting yeah more of painting and then actually i don't really teach them parang if they ask for my help mm -hmm. to for example um to draw a tree or something um, that's when I come in, like I guide them, ask them questions so that they, it comes, it still comes from them. Mm -hmm. uh, how will I draw a tree? Ganyan. So I ask them, for example, um, have you ever seen a tree or how do you think the tree looks like? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, what do you think is the shape of the tree? Ganyan. So it still will come from them. Mm -hmm. so, so you talk to your students before yeah, you let more them of execute guide work. questions. Lang. Oh, that's, really, questions. that's really important. You don't suggest mm -hmm. it's supposed to be green. Mm -hmm. Ay, come on, you could color it blue for all I like care yeah, if they want yeah <laughs> you just ask and ask questions choice. but mm -hmm. it should always come from them mm -hmm. yeah. and I would think that when you're asking questions there is never a wrong answer when you ask them when you facilitate you know when you lead the children very towards, open okay. yeah it yes. has to be very open yes. so, and like and like in the for example in teaching a science, science object yeah. there is the an answer mm -hmm. there's, yeah. a there's a correct there's a correct answer whereas in art even if they perceive a tree to be to have blue leaves it's yes. correct it, it, you can it's also their creativity it's also their creativity yeah. but uh, as you said you don't impose uh, teaching art you mm. I, I read your uh, poster for your summer art workshop this is the first summer art workshop that you organize yes uh, and that you're facilitating but uh, these are sp specifically for kids ranging from two to six year old. Four to seven. Oh, four to yeah. seven year old. But uh, when you when you teach kids, uh, you I mean the workshop is called imagining. 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 Can you explain that? <laughs> that oh, I just came you? up with that word. Parang it's a mix of imagination and painting. So it's mm -hmm. painting your imagination. Mm -hmm. So okay. when you say I'm imagining, that means I'm painting from my imagination. As yeah. opposed to. Yeah. Siguro copying like what's, for example, Still like life. copying nature, yeah. ganyan. Mm. So, it's not something you imagine, it's something you're, that's actually there, ganyan. Because mm. okay. for me, most of my, if not all of my paintings are really also from my imagination. Mm. So, nobody can tell me this is wrong because that's my, that's imagine. from my imagination. So, that's mm. what I tell my kids also. Nothing is wrong in art because it's your imagination, it's different from mine. Mm. So, if the nose looks um, deformed, mm. I can't say it's wrong because that's from your imagination. <laughs> Thus, you created the word imaginating. Yes. Imaginating. But I would imagine that would be very good for uh, young students. But for those in high school, there are already, well, um, I said, I would say prescriptions or, for example, what the school requires of the student. Like, for example, yes. I said, the car you grade the behavior during <laughs> class, <laughs> attendance, etc. So it's, it's quite different, when I, I would think, uh, to teach uh, young children and also those in the adol adolescent stage yeah. uh, is that I true? think it depends on the setup also of the school yeah. mm -hmm. so okay. if the school is an art school mm -hmm. then you have really separate like in makiling mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're really separate mm -hmm. uh, subjects for it and then different teachers also will teach you the technique mm -hmm. but if it's just like a regular school mm -hmm. then you don't really have to delve further into the technique, into the technique. It, it has to be more on nurturing the creativity of the child. Mm -hmm. But you you both uh, earned fine arts degrees from Ateneo, uh, humanities. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ateneo, so fine arts and humanities. Uh, as painters, as uh, artists, uh, what did you learn from university, for example, that added into your uh, your your art? So <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, just mm -hmm. all right. I well, my background is basically more on museums. Mm -hmm. So managing exhibits, mm -hmm. all those things. I only went into painting because I like it. Mm -hmm. It's a passion. I draw, illustrate, I do crafts. And okay. uh, yes, there are a number of things, especially on the principles, basic techniques that mm -hmm. I've learned. But I make sure that I always add something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about you, Ira? I mean, you went to university, you also studied art in university did did that add or subtract or somehow refine your your, your art ako siguro ano more on learning the techniques also cuz mm -hmm. um for me everybody already has their own creativity but the techniques you have to learn them also and mm -hmm. then 
keep practicing them. them. Yeah, and then learning to work with different, I know, um, materials like watercolor and pastels and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, there, there is a saying that I always hear: na artists, uh, starving artists. So is that true, for example, in your case, <laughs> or uh, is that a, re a reality here in, in the Philippines? What do you think? I cannot answer for everyone because mm -hmm. um, some people, I think they would say they are starving mm -hmm. artists, but um, I think um, compared to um, years before, art now is more commercial. <laughs> There's more commercial yeah, value. Yeah, people are accepting it more. Na, um, it's not for, um, you don't like become poor when you're an artist and mm -hmm. it's not a job na um, there's nothing in it financially for you. Because when you go into galleries now, paintings are really, mm -hmm. really expensive. expensive. Mm -hmm. Parang, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. How about you, Ja? What do you I think there's such a thing as starving artists. I don't believe it. You don't believe it? I don't believe it because, one, if not only for artists, mm -hmm. for any other profession. If you just love what you do, mm -hmm. I really think the money will just come. It'll just follow. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll yeah, just follow. True. So if you like to write a book, but you're working, mm -hmm. do not say that you don't have time for it. You always have time for it. If you really like it, you will do it. Mm -hmm. You will find ways to do it. Mm -hmm. And then the money will come. Mm -hmm. But don't make money the priority. It will never work. It, has, it always has to be it what you love. It has to yeah. be what you love to do. Mm -hmm. Because then, we, we, we call them passion projects. So we have a number of artists. We have a number of passion projects, things that we'd like to do in our lifetime. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so at the end of it, it's something that you are proud of. Mm -hmm. If you earn money from it, then that's the plus, plus. the plus mm -hmm. points already. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's go through some more of the artworks that you brought with you, Ja. Oh, right. Okay. I taught them African masks. Mm, okay. You know this. Turning, turning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you turn it and then you pull it. It when it goes faster, they're going to dance. Ah, and there's the animation. The head, yeah, yeah it's mm -hmm. animation and the head goes like this. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> this is also an African mask. Yeah, this is also African masks. Okay. Th this were done by my High freshman, students? Freshman. freshman students. Also from La Salle. Also from La Salle. Mm -hmm. The thing about fresh freshman kids is that they're in between <laughs> chapters of their life. Right. So they're sort of in between childhood and uh, being Adolescence. able to fit in mm -hmm. high school. Yeah. So you have to make sure that can you see it? Yeah. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It has to be playful also for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So so we have we have that pop up art. I don't know how to do that, but it can actually be done by people I know. I'm so proud. I because I only see that in bookstores mm -hmm. and uh, from like foreign have Korean students also who did who did something like that. You taught Korean up. students also. They're part of the the group. Mm -hmm. They're very good. Really? I don't know why. Yeah, there's something about the Korean culture. They're really, really good in art. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, drawing. In terms of drawing, also in terms of music, they yeah, awesome have music. specific instrument, mm -hmm. either okay. violin, flute. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Uh, I earlier I was asking Ja, how do you grade your students uh, when it comes to teaching? How about you in, in teaching toddlers? How do you evaluate them? How do you evaluate the good? output or is there such a thing do you even have grades in your art workshop um i've always been a progressive um teacher so the grades are not numerical and um, usually when we assess the kids it's more product based mm -hmm. so um, we let them come up with something and then i mean project based so we let them come up come up with a project and then we invite parents over and then they talk about their works you mm -hmm. know so what they've learned so far so mm -hmm. more of descriptive, the grading is more descriptive. Mm -hmm. So it's the parents who also discuss the artwork with their children? Um, we invite them over just so they know how their, their child is doing child is and doing. what their child has learned. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. All right, we'll, we'll continue this conversation when we return right here on GNN. Don't go away.